you're not going to believe this, but I just passed, actually it's right behind me, a guy driving a Ram gray truck and he's advertising his business, auto detailing, and his truck is filthy. Uh, I would never let that happen, Captain. You don't do that. Your vehicle is a representation of your business. I don't care what business you're in. It is a represent, representation of you and your business. So don't be that guy. Hi everyone, I got my Rolling Stones shirt on. On the back it says it's the greatest rock and roll band in history. And if you all disagree, just unsubscribe from my channel. Okay, yeah. Led Zeppelin takes close second, maybe. Um, so I just went by my daughter-in-law's house, I should say ex. She's doing okay. She has become quite the gardener and um, gave her a hug and I gave her my grandson his Easter basket because as you all know, I was out of the country. If you've been watching me in the last couple weeks, you would know that. So. The only thing is, his Easter Bunny melted. Now here it is, I've been freezing to death since I got back, and the sun was beating right down on the Easter Bunny's face. I am in the middle of 95 North in a traffic jam, and uh, they've rerouted this whole 95. It's a lot more accessible and safer, I believe. But sometimes when there's a cop on the side of the road, you can't always get over because you're in traffic. I don't know how they expect us to do that. But uh, I'm on my way to visit my sister. I'm gonna dye her hair, do her nails. Um, she needed a loaf of bread, so I bought her a loaf of bread. <clears throat> and I got my silk pillowcase. And oh my God, my daughter-in-law has got gray hair now. I remember when she was 15, because she married my son when she was 16. But she's an incredible woman. She went ahead and got her college degree, many of them, I should say. She is a, um, I don't know how you say it, uh, computer tech genius, I guess. Uh, she's always had a computer between, uh, you know, on her lap, and uh, I helped her with some of her education, but I told her never to tell my spouse, and she, she slipped one day and told him so I could no longer help her with her education because, as you all know, sometimes he's an actress. So... So, I haven't had breakfast or lunch. It's now three o'clock. <clears throat> and I uh, really need to keep snacks in my purse that are healthy and low-cal, but you really need to do that if you're watching your weight. And, uh, so, what can I say? I, I'm exhausted. I had to go get gas, I had to go to the bank, I had to, Costco, every parking lot was filled. The lines were through the roof. I mean, I've never seen this happen in the 30 years that I lived in Fredericksburg, or 25 years, so. But when I went to the counter, I noticed the cashier was copping a little of an attitude. Uh, Costco has this thing where you get two for $9.99, and, and I needed to buy, you know, the essentials, toilet paper, and paper towels. So I bought those things where you get two for $9.99, but I knew that one of them you had to do it, which I did, but I didn't know another product you got to do that. So she says, now I'm going to have to hold up the line. You're going to have to go back there and get it. And, she, and then she goes, well, there's a card up front where you can just pick out your other one. I said, okay. All right. So I went and got another one. I was only four steps from the register. And I noticed to her, you know, she was a little had an attitude. And I noticed her nameplate was flipped over. I said, could you flip over your nameplate, please? She goes, why? What for? And I'm thinking, oh my God, she needs to be retrained. I've worked retail for five years. You don't talk like that. Every customer needs to know what your name is. 
If you don't want anybody to know what your name is, then make up a god dang name. But I guarantee you, you'll get fired. So, yeah. Her name was Amy at Costco. Uh, no. You treat the customers how you would want to be treated. So, oh lordy. Why are you wearing a name tag if you don't want anybody to know you I mean, that's just company policy. So, I think I could just go take a nap. Oh, God. I've been sleeping better. I got back on a regular schedule in the Dominican where we would go to bed at 10 or 11 and I'd get up at 8, so. But, you know, when you're almost 70, you got to get up a couple times a night. Oh, my God, I really need to talk to my gynecologist. There's pills. There's over-the-counter pills that you can take, and there's other things. But, of course, whenever you take a pill, there's also side effects that, that causes some other issue. I think I'll just try not to drink so much liquid at night. I think that's part of the problem. All right, thanks for listening. See my paper.